Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another reading because I'm on a roll today. I don't know where this energy is coming from, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to give you guys another reading um, and I'm going to be using the Soul's Journey Oracle card deck. Um, yeah, this is a general reading for all the star signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's just get to it anyway, man. If you're new to my channel, welcome. <coughs> And um, if people don't know, um, yeah, Oracle, I prefer Oracle cards than Tarot cards because Oracle cards, Oracle cards give you guidance right now um, on where you're at in your journey and where you need healing. Whereas tar um, Tarot cards tell you what's going to happen and predict the future. So I prefer working with the right, n the right now because the present is all that we have. Thanks to Eckhart Tolle. Anyway. What insight do you want me to share with the collective? What insight do you want me to share with the collective? Well, I'm just going to give it one more shuffle and then we're going to just get it going, guys. And I do a nine card spread for people that don't know. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If I haven't said that already. So yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so let's see what we're working with. Alright, so your first card is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So that's basically saying exactly what it says on the card. Be true to yourself. Um, yeah, you can't expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. Um, so yeah, if you're feeling, um, if you feel to say something or just be open, don't be scared to say how you feel. Um, yes, everyone's been hurt in the past and everyone's got baggage, should I say. But as long as you're honest with yourself, then you ain't got to worry about other people, man, because you know you're coming from a good place. So be honest with yourself. If you're not feeling something or you feel that you need to say something because something's feeling off with you, follow your intuition and just be honest with yourself and then be um, take the steps to then work with that, should I say. Yeah, but always be honest with yourself because then you know exactly where you're at. You can't control outside circumstances, but you can control your own, should I say. So yeah, be honest with yourself, guys, and with everyone else, man. But yeah, moving on. <clears throat> guilt I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth yeah so that's basically um, things that happened in the past um, yeah you can't change the past man and um, things that you've done in the past yeah you can't let them you can't feel guilty for what you've done because that was just where you was at at the time. So it's time to kind of release and surrender and let go of it because it's going to be holding you stuck. Um, yeah, because guilt is a low emotion and that will keep you stuck in a low vibration. Guilt, fear and anger, them things will keep you stuck instead of leveling up. So guilt, try to release the guilt, man, because you're, you're, you're worth more. Yeah, you're worth more. And love yourself as well, man, because guilt, guilt can eat you alive, man. Yeah, I've been there, man. Guilt is, <laughs> yeah, it's horrendous, like, doing something in the past and then thinking, oh, yeah, I feel guilty for doing this and this and that. And it just eats you alive, man. So just, um, yeah, yeah, release guilt because that was where you was at. And you don't need to be stuck there because of something that you did in the past, guys. <clears throat> okay, moving on. <clears throat> success i know that there is no greater goal than to love so yeah man um that's basically saying always come from a place of love because there's only two emotions fear and love fear is ego and love is soul your soul so as long as you're um doing everything coming from a loving place you're going to be on a higher vibration and only good can come out of it man and if you're going to be coming from a place of fear um yeah, you're just going to be hitting a lot of... The road's going to be hella bumpy and it's not going to be as smooth. So if you're coming from a place of love, the road's going to be hella smooth. 
even though there's going to be obstacles, but you're going to be heading in the right direction. So always try to focus on love, unconditional love, because, um, yeah, love is all that is, man. Yeah. But yeah, focus on love and success, guys. All right, moving on. All right. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So what I get for this is, um, this is to do with your solar plexus. So you, one, you shouldn't be comparing yourself to anyone else because you're a unique being. And two, self-esteem is um, basically putting your power outside of yourself. So like comparing yourself with others um, and looking externally for what you what you lack should I say so I've been there fucking with self esteem issues oh yeah this and that or fucking doing stuff to try to boost my self esteem but then doing that makes your self esteem lower should I say so um, that comes to do with self love um, self esteem like you know knowing your worth and stuff but um, yeah don't compare yourself to others guys because everyone's on their own unique journey and there is no other you so um, yeah self-esteem and use sertrine um if you're trying to work on your self-esteem guys because sertrine is a good crystal for your um willpower self-esteem and confidence man <clears throat> death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings so yeah that's basically saying death and rebirth um things need to end for for um new things to begin like, you know, if you're holding on to the old, there's not going to be no room for the new, man. So you kind of need to let go of the old, even though letting go of letting go is so fucking hard at times, guys. I swear I've been there fucking. Yeah, letting go is fucking painful. And it's also to do with ego as well. Um, endings because the ego don't like change much, but um, your soul knows what it wants and you should be you should. um welcome the new and not fear the unknown because there's magic in the unknown you know once you take that first step um yeah shit can happen man i said that um yeah i've seen it i've witnessed it man fucking uh, like holding on to shit and as soon as you let go and have faith in the process and fucking listen magic begins i said that but yeah it's like and another thing is this is um it's like death and rebirth you know the phoenix rising from the ashes rising from the ashes so a lot of people might be um coming out of having a dark night of the soul maybe i don't know but yeah some of you are gonna begin to stand in your own power and um yeah that's what i'm getting for that one anyway okay moving on Ac acceptance i am learning to accept the things i cannot change <laughs> I hate this card. Not hate this card, but yeah, acceptance is fucking difficult, man. Um, you know, like sometimes if you're feeling sad or depressed, <clears throat> you're trying to battle it. But instead of accepting it and saying, yes, I feel this way, it makes it so much easier. So, um, yeah, learn to accept. And that might be even accepting love, guys, I'm getting, you know. Um, yeah, accepting because, or well, what I hear, what I'm getting is a lot of you give too much. If you're a healer, if you use the healers, you probably give way more than you receive. And, um, yeah, accepting, yeah. Like, you know, accepting offers. Some people I'm getting is it's hard for people to accept things, man. But, um, yeah, learn to receive and um, accept wherever you're at right now in your journey, you know. So, say, for instance... Um, you want to, I don't know, start a new business or whatever, but you just can't because you're stuck or you just ain't got the money or something. Just accept that's exactly where you're at and you're not going to be there forever, man. So, yeah, just try accepting wherever you're at right now and being in the present moment, man, instead of trying to um, project into the future, should I say, guys. So, yeah, acceptance is key. Right, this is your last road, guys. Okay, regret. I know that I cannot change the past, 
No, we cannot change the past, guys. And that's where a lot of um, depression comes from, um, trying to live in the past um, and hold on to things that we're basically no more... We're, that we're basically... when We don't resonate with no more, should I say. Um, so, yeah, that's another let go and surrender kind of card, man. Because, yeah, we can't change the past because um, we no longer live there. And we... Um, can plan for the future but we also don't live there too the only thing we have is right now man so um yeah try not to beat yourself up about the past guys because we've all had a rough ride we've all been through shit we've all done shit and you know some some shit we ain't proud of man fucking hell but it's all part of the growth and it's all part of the journey man so don't regret anything because whatever it was it felt good at good at the time should i say man and yeah, you might have just grown and changed, but you no longer live there no more, so you cannot um, regret it, man, you know? And then empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah, so that's basically saying exactly what it says on the card. Like, you know, sometimes you might be having an argument um, and you're not, someone ain't seeing your point of view or whatever, but when, once you learn to take a step back, and see both sides you can see where the other person's coming from and where you're coming from kind of thing so um yeah be um empathetic to people right about now and even with people wearing um you know the face nappies and all that yeah show them compassion man because um sorry be empathetic towards them because some people are really scared right now and yeah we're in really mysterious times man so you gotta show be coming from a place of love and unconditional love you know, and no, no judgment, yeah, and um, show yourself empathy as well, be kind with yourself, man, don't be too hard on yourself, beating yourself up all the time, you know, because we're our own worst enemy, man, and I know what it's like, fucking um, negative thoughts and all that, man, so yeah, try to be kind with yourself, guys, and diversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, yeah, so that's exactly what it says on the card, man. We all go through experiences and challenges in life and that basically makes us who we are, you know, but you can't let it um, make or break. It either makes or break, it either will make you or break you, but you're still standing, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, yeah, you've bounced back from a hell of a lot of stuff, guys. You know, you're stronger than you think you are, you know. Yeah, you're stronger than you think you are, and you can, you know, your soul was, your soul chose this journey, and you're f just physically living it. So you when when you we was at source or whatever, your soul was like, yeah, I can handle that, I can do that, but now you're actually just experiencing it, man. You chose to come here, and you know what you need to do, um, and don't see it as a challenge. See it as a um, what's it called? like a project or something you know if you see something as no just not a challenge sorry an obstacle yeah see it as see a, a challenge as an obstacle and you can work around the obstacle you can go over it you can go under it but you can't st stand at the obstacle if you get me guys yeah but that's what i'm getting for that anyway and that is your read another reading guys i'm on a roll today man's done three readings don't know where this energy is coming from, but I feel a bit louder. Alright. <clears throat> so, death is your centre card right about now. So, everything else would evolve around um, the death card. So, <clears throat> yeah, you might be being reborn again. Or if you're coming, having a dark night of the soul, <laughs> a lot of this is going to be brought to light for you. Um, I don't know why I'm getting a dark night of the soul. Um, cause yeah, I know a lot of people love go are going through some shit right now. So, um, yeah, man, if you like the video guys, you know what to do, like, share, subscribe. And if it resonated with you, hit the comments and let me know. And you know how we do peace, love and light guys, unity, healing and blessings. Love you guys. Tribe.